Excellent. Found a cardboard box. Great for hiding in. And, uh, you know, storing odds and ends. Keeping, uh, keeping things tidy. Stackable. Stackable. Cardboard boxes. A lot of people don't know that about cardboard. Um, if you put a Nintendo logo on it, you can sell it for 70 quid. I come from a la 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 la. Salutation citizens, Jackman here, and <laughs> against my better judgement, today I will be checking out the open beta of Metal Gear Survive. If you're unfamiliar with what Metal Gear Survive is, uh, it is a game that is, um, not literally, but figuratively carved out of the corpse of Hideo Kojima. Here we are, our hero for this game, Jack Max. Interesting fact, he has a scar over his left eye, but he's blind in his right eye, somehow. His left eye completely unharmed from whatever caused... I think he's got two scars, in fact, actually. Quite a few scars near his eye. Eye completely intact. Right eye, got a paper clip in it. Got a paper clip in it. Clip in it. He was filing documents, accidentally just caught it on the edge of his keyboard, flicked up, took his eye out. Awful accident. Awful. You've got to be careful with paper clips. You gotta be careful, that's the lesson. If I didn't, if you learn nothing else from this video, other than, you know, the quality of this game, learn that paper clips. Bad. So I'm, I'm equipping these head slots, but there's a menu. I can kind of see me through the menu, slightly. I'll find that which, which one's most transparent. I suppose that one's probably... I can kind of see what I'm wearing. There we go! Now I'm looking like a proper Aussie! I wasn't actually intended for Jack Max to be Australian, but why not? Hey, what's this birthday cake? Training area. Okay, that's probably a good thing we should do. Crikey. Uh. I, I, I question why this stuff isn't just deployed generally anyway. I mean, it's not like there's anything there. But, you know, whatever. There we go. Now I'm cam completely camouflaged. I'm invisible to any predator that tries to attack me. Here we go. Time until digging automatically starts. I don't know what that means. I'm wearing a gas mask though. Right. Ah, this must be a zombie. You can tell because he hasn't got a head. He's got like a red crystal thing where his head would be. That means he can't actually see me. He can just find me through smell. No, he's got a nose. Vibrations. I vibrated. Majestic, like the lion. I found some tarragon. Excellent. That'll be lovely with some dinner. I'll make spag ball. That uh, you know popular Aussie dish. Put some tarragon in. And found some barbed fences. Can I? Okay. Well, it's barbed, but apparently I can still climb. These gloves. These combat. Hang on, I'm wearing gloves. Yes. Look at these combat gloves I've been wearing. Let you climb over barbed wire like like it was nothing. Like it was made out of. Um, brick. Nailed. It. Ah, get it. Because I picked up nails. Oh, I'm so smart. So i got a minute until the digging starts. I don't know what that means. That. Ah! Still not entirely sure how these things are sending me. Like I said, no eyes, no nose, no ears. Really? Must be vibrations. I need to stop vibrating. I'm just... I'm so excited. I don't know why I did that, but I did it. Um... Ah! Right! Kinda wish you had told me that would happen. But, there you know. That's what living in the wild is all about. Learning. Any of you Sheilas uh, still wandering around? I have opted to go for an Australian accent, and I can't do an Australian accent very well. And I also don't know a great deal of Australian lingo. Kind of backed myself into a corner very early on here. Um, dingoes. Ate them. I absolutely ate them. Ah! What am I doing? Right. Well, I'll use a revival pill. That's, uh, that's the Aussie way. Now I'm translucent. I do have a gun. In fairness. 
I could just shoot them. I really hope bullets are cheap. No, I'm using a lot of them. Crikey. Um. Oh, I'm out. Oh. Again, if I'd realised that would have happened, I might not have, uh... I don't know if you have so much ammo up there. This is how you fight in the outback. You poke, and then you dive. Poke, dive. Poke, dive. Just like fighting a giraffe. Okay, how do I heal? I'm looking at my healing thing. I'm just, I'm just reading the instructions. Hang on, very important in the wild not to use any kind of medical equipment until you know exactly how to use it. Just, there we go, there we go. I figured it out. It stings a little, it stings a little. I wish I'd worn a shirt. I really wish I'd worn a shirt. A 10 bomber, that doesn't sound great. Uh, uh, I, I thought I picked up some ammo. What the point? What was the point of that? Hey, hang on. I've got. I threw a lure down. Oh, okay, not in, not that interested in the lure. No, oh, no. Really wish I had. Uh, Oh dear. Oh, this is not. This is not cricket. And I would know being an Aussie. Ah! Oh! Uh. Hang on. Uh, I only got one. Could you all, could you all burn faster? Ah, oh, okay. Well. So that was an example of how not to do it, just so you knew what failure looked like. Uh, it's important to know how to fail, and then you work your way up from there. That's how, uh, that's how the experts do it. Not quite sure I don't have any nails, considering all the nails I picked up. Don't, uh, don't quite know how that plays out. Picked up, uh... I picked up a bucket load of nails, literally, I picked up a bucket filled with nails, where are my nails gone? That's unusual. Oh, it might have been screws. It might have been screws. In Australia, we call screws nails, of course. So, you know, uh, it's just a difference in terminology. Using in the uh, American system, as we like to call it, the shit system. Ripper. Jack Max's first lesson. A bit late to be teaching you the first lesson now. The rest of that was kind of just like a tutorial, or like a not a tutorial. That's what that's what a lesson is. I think it was just a sort of prologue to the actual lessons beginning. Jack Max's first lesson survival: make sure you have a strong cowboy hat. Hat the head is the most important part of the body. It's where you keep all of the important things. You can you can survive in just your head, famously. So make sure you keep your hat strong and sturdy. Regrettably, I am unable to strengthen me togs at uh, this time, but that is fine. I have strengthened me gloves and me rig. I don't know the Aussie. I don't know that there's an Aussie word for these three things. Jack Max's rule for survival number two: always make so sure to survey the area ahead of time, so that you know exactly what you're facing. And uh, I can see Jack shit because it's dusty. I knew that. That is why good Ozzy always keeps his spear with him. Because uh, you can use it like an axe. A lot of people don't know that about spears. My accent's wandering. I need to case a craggy every so often so I can keep it... It's not even close anymore. I don't know where I'm going. I'm only half Australian. My greatest shame. I don't know where the other half is, so... Mom, mom and Dad died before they told me. Eaten by dingoes. As is our way. I have alerted him. As you can see, I have hidden behind a wall. He is now unable to get to me. And I can pick him up from a safe distance. Now, some might call this cowardly. What I call it is smart. Oh, you made it over the wall. Tricky blighter. There we go. How'd you like that being ham shanked? That's what we call it. 
when you stick a pig with a spear, that's called a ham shanking. Get away from me digger. Me dang Joey. Right. I think I can put down. Hang on. Haha! Ha ah. ha! Ha ha! Now, let's put one of these down on each side. Ah, they have somehow found a way through my defenses. I don't quite rightly understand it. Ah. Uh, I'm honestly, I'm flabbergasted. Ah, get, 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 get off. Uh, Jack Max is, uh, will survive in number three. I think I was number three, might be number four. Don't worry about numbers. Ah, dang it. Now, yeah, this is the attack time using where I play dead, and then... Continue to play dead. And just go home. Now, as I mentioned before, I'm going into my deep self accent again. Crikey, mate. Crikey, right. At least a crikey every so often, just so I can keep the accent up a little bit. Crikey. Crikey, 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 crikey. Ah, right. Jack <laughs> Jack Max's rule number five, I think. Always make sure to recover the weapons that they give you. Because, uh... They're really strong. Right then. I've shown you an ample amount of times now how not to do it. You should be well versed in what not to do. So now, Jack Max is going to show you how, how it's done right. The trick to sneaking up on these critters is to vibrate as little as possible. There you go. Now, despite the fact I do have not have a knife equipped, I stabbed him with my knife because, of course, even even when you don't have a knife equipped, always make sure you've got a knife equipped. Jack Jack Max's lesson survival number six. Always make sure to get Cuban. Cuban's a good resource. Uh, that's what they make the cigars out of, famously. Nothing all Jack Max likes. And a couple of stogies. While he's uh, cooking some uh, barbies. Now, be careful when approaching bodies on the floor. Because you never know when those bodies... Might not be bodies. I mean, they're almost certainly always bodies. But uh, sometimes they can jump up at you and... Uh, Nickel it and nip at your Crocs. Crocs are shoes. That's not Australian, it's just that's a kind of shoe. And as you can see there, arrived exactly in the nick of time to prevent the wormhole trigger. Yeah, the trigger. That's what, uh. That's an affectionate term for the wormhole digger there. Uh, the trigger. Uh, from sustaining. Oh, I got a little bit of damage. That was, it came like that though, that that was just, that was damage, um, that wasn't me. Hog stick, we call this. Normally when we do it with pigs, but, uh, normally when we do it with pigs, they don't really claw at the fence that enthusiastically. Not unless we've got something that hogs really want on the other side of the fence. And the one thing I know about hogs, they're the damn thing they want. They are creatures without a single single care in the world. Maybe some cool mud. You put some cool mud on the other end of the fence, the hogs, they just run at the fence, you can stick them. You can stick them all day. Where are they? They'll come around to this side. But that's fine. As you can see, the timer's about to run now. Save yourself a bit of energy. Just let them come to you. Let them come to you, and there you go. Jack Max is rules of surviving in the outback. Number seven. Let the uh, let the trigger do the work for you. Don't uh, you know? Don't give yourself a drongo where you don't need one. Those men are flying in from the sky. 
Crikey. All right, run out of ammo. There we go. Right. Crikey. They are really giving me the kangaroos runs here. Ah, there we go. At this point, you just fall back. Pop a tinny. And watch the fireworks. Happy Australian Day, lads. Ah. You drop goes. Now, according to me, Scanner, there's some walker gear over here. I don't know what it is, but I want it. Now, they're armoured, which would normally pose a threat. However, all that being armoured means is it's harder for them to see you. I don't know that I've killed it. So what I've done there is I've popped his helmet off. Now we take a second stab at it. <laughs> stab. Get it. Okay, I don't know why I'm not actually stabbing it, but... It occurs to me that there are some robots here. Ripper. Ha 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 ha! Ah. Careful not to let your uh, thing overheat, but uh, when it does, kick him. Spent a bit too long getting the uh, getting the old Rue. Need to head back to uh, protect me, me Drigger. Crikey, 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 crikey! Right, let's see them get the best of old Jack Max now. I've got my big robot. I fell off. It's it's temperamental. Ah, crikey! I'm out of I'm out of bullets. That's fine. I've still got my cook. My cook, yeah. Me, uh, me cook and me punch. So what we, that's what we call it in the outback. Ah! Crikey! Right. Well, now. Uh, crikey. Ah! Let's see, there you go. Jack Max's rule survival. Number whatever now. The 10. We skipped a few. They're not, they're, those ones aren't as important. We'll come back to them. If you set yourself on fire. Your enemy can't uh, can't kick you or grab you or do any other things your enemy might potentially wish to do with you. Play dead for a little while and boom. Crikey, right. Well, that concludes Jack Max's survival techniques for today. Hopefully you have learned as much as I have taught. Because, uh... ah, uh, hang on. Don't forget about your boxes. All right, your drongos. That is the end of Jack Max's survival guide. Hopefully you've paid attention. No workers, if not. Just find yourself a few stubby short of a six pack and in a full on dog's breakfast, your rips snorter. Now, I'm gonna put a shrimp on a barbie, have some tinnies and uh, play with the dog's eye. So you have a good day, mate. Aussie, Aussie, Aussie. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Mate. Oh. <laughs> indicators, that's what these pro packs need, they need indicators. Yeah. He's been slimed! Oh no! Hustle over here and help him up, will you? Yeah, so get good at doing that, because <laughs> that happens they have no self-preservation. That's fine, I've played Gears of War. They will stand right in front of a 12-foot thing.